Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an infographic just using simple tools from Insert Menu. I took a small box from Insert Menu. I'm going to make it same and equal size, uh, which is 2.7 in height and 2.7 in width. I'm going to make one sample box with all the things that I need, which is inc includes the text and all that. Now I'm going to increase the font for the number one, and then I will change the font type for the text, and then I will also change the color. So now I'm going to find a more bold font, which can cover a lot of space in the block. And I'm going to increase its size to make it look more prominent. And after that, I'm going to see if it looks uh, adjustable or not. So I'm going to make its size a little bit more bigger and also change the color to white. Once you are done with that, you can see if it needs to increase in size a bit more or not. So increase the size a little bit more and adjust the shape to the corners of the squ square. And then you can select all both the text and the square box. Now you can copy this one, control, shift, and you can drag down. Similarly, now you can select these two blocks by dragging the cursor and you can select like this control shift and you can drag them again by pressing control and shift you can drag the same objects at the same time at the same position so just use control plus shift uh, keys and then you can drag the squares to another, another side now once you're done with this one I'm going to show you what you can do with this one just slightly arrange them in the middle of the slide and then uh, what you can do is change the numbers from simple 1 to 3 so that we can save our time instead of doing for every every single block I just did for one and then later I'm just changing the size for I'm just changing the numbering so that it can make it a bit more easier I'm just going to uh, delete one this extra box because I don't want to bring 10 inside because it's too big so let's suppose that we have only 9 digits to cover and then we can select them and you can, we can drag them to the right hand side and put it down in the corner Let's just delete the extra one that we missed in the previous time. Now select all of these. We can do one thing. We can merge and subtract the shape from the box. But for that, you must select the box first and then the text. So uh, let me show you how you can do. So first you can select the box and then you can select the text. That's how you can subtract. Now what you can do for the other one, you can also use the fragment options. If you choose fragment, what it does, it divides all the shapes into small parts. So once you are done with this, you can remove the extra parts that you don't need. So I personally think fragments really help in making the shapes more beautiful and more easy, easier to handle. So now once you are, once you did for one, now I'm going to repeat the same process by choosing the fragments. I'm going to do the same process for the down parts also. Once you are done with this one, what you can do is you can select all these ones and then you can just simply click on frag fragments. Even, even if you don't have to click each one uh, separately, you can just select all and then you can choose fragments. Now I'm going to remove the unnecessary parts which includes the outline and shape. Make sure when you are dealing with four, don't delete the inside part because once you delete, it will not give a prominent look for the text itself. So now I'm just uh, carefully deleting the parts which I don't need. So I'm going to delete the outer part of the five and also going to clear the remaining boundaries. Now once I'm done with cleaning all the parts, I'm going to give a different color to each and every shape to make it more prominent. Now for this case, I'm giving a different color which is orange and which is golden. And similarly, I'm going to give different colors for each and every part. So remember, I'm not going to delete this part because this part is actually giving an outline for number two. So now I'm going to be changing the colors for other parts. And similarly for three, four, five, six, seven. You may also choose simple stone colors, but if you want to make it different, you can also do that. But I recommend that if you use different colors, it will make it your slide more attractive and your infographic more attractive. I just made this simple one so that you can learn easily. Now what, are we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the text part for the box. I'm going to write simple text for one box. So and again, I'm going to repeat the same process for the other parts also. So if your text exceeds the size, you can just reduce the size of the text. You don't have to decrease the, uh, you don't have to change the font. You can just decrease the size so that it can fit inside the box. So once I copy this one, I'm going to repeat the same process for other parts also. And later I'm going to change the text inside because it can save me a lot of time. So what you can do is uh, you can copy this block and you can paste it here and similarly copy this block here again and then paste on the other other blocks. You can just also do control plus shift and you can drag the same text block to the other shapes also. Control plus shift will also copy and also keep the margins at the same place in the same time. Now control plus shift again then you can go and drag it down. You don't need to copy when you press control and shift so that's one tip that you can learn from this one. Now once you're done with this part you can add icons in this one and also you can change the text within the box individual box. Now as you can see the size is a little bit bigger so I'm going to reduce its size so that it can fit inside the box. Similarly I'm going to repeat this process for the other parts also. So each keyword can have their own uh, specific icon but for those who don't have an icon set they can also download from Google or they can also download the icon sets from free websites which provides vector graphics. So now I'm going to use simple keywords and using the keywords like people, 
gender, climate, globe, whatever resembles the things, the points that you mentioned inside your text box, you can write down and see if they have available options for the icons or not. Now I'm going to use the gender option for my own blocks. So I typically I chose some of the some of the options for my uh, categories that I showed in the slide. So I'm going to select them and I'm going to paste them all together in the slide. Once you are done with that, you can arrange those icons accordingly. So now I'm going to choose some icons for peace and then I'm going to choose icons for tap water and for justice and for peace. For the first part, I couldn't remember all the words so I just did a few. So I'm going to repeat the same process for the other parts also. Now I'm showing these people for uh, no poverty which means that all people are together just to show and symbolize anything that you want. You can also choose different icons which can exactly resemble what, what you ex actually want to show. So for this one, I'm climate, I'm just using some clouds which means uh, some better environment and some uh, low temperatures and all that. For peace, I'm using this dove bird. Like I said, you can use any icon which can resemble the words. For quality education, you can also use books. For peace, you can also use some any other thing which can resemble uh, uh, or resemble or depict the word. For justice, I just use this small building which uh, shows somehow a courthouse. And then I'm going to use for innovation these small puzzles, which means that there are three blocks, three puzzles already inside. And you add one more inside, which means they are innovating something, bringing something new inside. So it depends on you how you choose your icons. So icons can be different. Icons might be available in the previous version, but if you you don't have an icons you can also download the vector graphics or vector icons from the uh, from Google or from any other free website now we will work on the top title for the graphic which is the goal which is the global goals and then I'm going to increase its size till the end so that I can increase the size to the maximum I prefer using bold fonts for my title so in this case I'm going to use Arial bold and I'm also going to increase its size and length so that it can cover uh, other space and also can also have a uh, empty space behind now I'm going to select all of them and going to drag and keep bring them to the middle so that they have equal space from the top and the bottom so once you are done with this you can add another icon which is the globe it can show something somehow that it is global so this globe is just as a representative pictorial representation of the globe and it will just show that we are going we are talking about the whole world not uh, only for some specific region so this is how you can make your infographic uh, pretty much simple pretty much easy I just use simple tools box and uh, number text file text box and then what I did is I used some icons and then added some of the text inside I made for uh, 8 or 9 categories if you have to make for small categories you can increase the size of the box and you can also use some different colors or gradients as you like. So now I'm mostly done with it uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding making small adjustments which I can do. I'm going to change the background color which is uh, dark blue or the light gray. Light Dark blue doesn't look much good but if you want to use this dark blue you must change the color or the shape for the uh, shape for the boxes or the you also may have to make a white text. So I hope you guys like this video and learned something from this video. If you haven't watched my previous video on animation and other, you can also watch that. So whenever you start making a graphic, do take some examples or watch some examples before when you start. You can also have pretty much good ideas when you are going to make a graphic on the first time. I hope you are enjoying my videos. If you want me to teach you something different about PowerPoint, do let me know in my comment section. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.